this is Dee Wedekin with Maxi Lift. Today, we're gonna to talk about elevator bolts. A very small part of your bucket elevator, but a very important part. This one happens to be referred to as a number one Norway. Some of the features of the number one Norway are a flat head, a square shoulder, so it'll go into the hole of your elevator belt, and uh, it'll fit right into the belt and then through the bucket. Normally the way that the number one Norway bolt is installed is then with a flat washer against the plastic, a lock washer against the flat washer, and then a hex nut. And of course you're going to install that according to the torque specifications that you'll find uh, in, in the MaxiLift manual or online. And once you've got it to the torque specs, it's gonna hold for a long time. Now sometimes people don't care to use a lock washer, and that's because a lock washer over the years, it actually can start to rust and break apart and fall off. And so there are some other options such as a uh, lock nut or a double nutting. If you're gonna double nut, you wanna be careful because if you put on the first one, put it to the torque settings, take the second nut and put it on, your socket could actually fit over top of both nuts and you'll be tightening up the bottom one again instead of the top one. A way to get around that is to, instead of using another hex nut, use a flange nut. A flange nut has a serrated bottom. It's going to help to lock into place and your socket is gonna fit right down over that flange and so it can't actually uh, make this, the bottom one tighten more. It'll tighten the top one. When it comes time to take these off, if you have to replace some buckets, it'll pop right loose. You can take that flange nut off and so on and so forth and replace those. And so that's a good way to use the Norway number one elevator bolt. Another option for elevator bolts is a saber tooth or fanged elevator bolt. You'll notice we have these two teeth on here that are bent in from the top, and that's meant to dig into the belt. You'll notice here that if you have a, a belt here, I've got a sample, it's gonna dig right into the top cover there. It's gonna dig into a rubber belt much better than a PVC belt. A PVC belt is harder, and so it's gonna have a harder time going in. But that's the idea is that it digs in, then you can use a flat washer against the bucket and a nylon lock nut to hold it into place. Once that nylon lock nut is installed, it's not gonna come off because this is dug in, it's tight, and it's gonna be able to be removed easily as well. If you do have to replace buckets and you take the nylon lock nut off, you replace the bucket, you can put the washer back on, but don't use the same nylon lock nut. Once you've deformed the little nylon uh, feature inside, you should use a new one to make sure that it's gonna lock properly. Those are just a few features about elevator bolts. If you have questions about elevator bolts or anything else to do with your bucket elevator, contact us at maxilift.com. Click on the Contacts tab and call us or email us. This is Dean Wedekind with MaxiLift. Thanks.